Well, here we are beginning our study of lipids, and lipids are it's a category of macromolecule. The macromolecules of life fall into how many major categories? Four. This is the second one we're going to study. We studied one already. What was that? Carbohydrates. Okay, so carbohydrates, lipids, the next one will be proteins, and then nucleic acids. But uh, right now we're on macromolecule number two called lipids. What have we got here? We've got a representation of a ball and stick model. It happens to represent the same thing that this does right here. A bunch of atoms joined together, excuse me. And, uh, and so which atoms are joined together? Well, obviously carbon and hydrogen. And you've learned that when you see a letter in these diagrams, each letter represents a what? Represents an atom. So that H right there represents what? A hydrogen atom, yes, that carbon represents a carbon atom and so here they are joined together. Now uh, one thing that we need to know is a little bit about carbon and how many bonds it forms with neighboring atoms. That's not too hard if you look at this diagram because we take this carbon atom for example the number of bonds it forms is the number of sticks it has connected to other atoms. And so, let's see, what is this? There's uh, one, two, three, four, yes. And so we can say then the carbon atoms form four bonds with neighboring atoms. And so we need to look at that. Before we shut down this little introductory video though, let's look at this little model. Because this represents the same thing uh, that we have on the screen, except it's a little more three-dimensional. What does every black ball represent in this ball and stick model? Well one atom, one atom of carbon. And uh, the way this model is constructed, each little black ball has a place to attach four sticks. Fancy that, because carbon atoms four, form four bonds with neighboring atoms. And so as we uh, pick a particular carbon atom, uh, let's see, how about that one right there? We see a couple sticks attach it to another carbon atom on either side, and then two sticks that are connected to connected to hydrogen atoms, the same as in this diagram right here. Carbon atom connected to two other carbon atoms and then uh, also connected to two hydrogen atoms. So that's our little intro there. Remember of course the carbon atoms form how many bonds with the neighboring atoms? Four. That's absolutely right. Okay. Thank you.